Okay, to run an SQL database in your local machine, you first need to set up an SQL server. And one of the simplest ways of setting up an SQL server is through SAM. You just need to search for SAM and download it for your version. Mine's Windows, so I'll be downloading this. Once this is downloaded, you can just go ahead and install it with all the default settings. You don't need to change anything else. And once the installation and once the installation is complete, you'll get an SAMP control panel like here. And here you can just go ahead and start Apache MySQL and you're all set to go. You can access your DB through a pretty much good UI through local host PHP MyAdmin. Yeah, you would pretty much get a decent UI. You can perform all DB operations just through here. Uh, for example, you can create a database. We'll call it test three. Okay. Now you can create the table in student. You have three columns. And whatever the operations you do here, you can get the queries of them in console history. So pretty much if you want to do an operation and you are not sure on the query, you can just do it through the UA and get a query here. And before you do create a table or anything, you can preview the SQL for what you're about to do. So this is it. And you can go ahead and save it. And for running any queries, you can navigate to SQL tab. For example, let's try inserting a cost. Pretty much you can perform all DB queries for practice just through this UI. And you can also connect your DB through VS Code. So let's see how to do it. Let's open VS Code. Okay, uh, connecting to SQL database through VS Code comes in handy when like you're developing any apps, you want to check a query. And you don't need to switch tabs between this and the browser. You can just set it up here and you can run queries just from your VS Code. So for that, we will need an extension called SQL Tools. Search, navigate to extensions and search for SQL Tools. Yep, this is it. Go ahead and install it. Okay, it's installed now. Now, yeah, this is the old one I had. Okay, now you need to set up a connection. Before you set up a connection, it you need a driver. So you can search VS Code Marketplace. 
okay and do you have a driver for mysql the name is sql tools mysql and maria db so go ahead and install it once that is installed you can add a new connection select mysql now you need to set up your connection just keep a name and then the server address is local host since you are having your sql server in exam which is set up locally and the port number you can get it from exam control panel the port for my sql is 3306 in my case so 3306 and database the one we'll use the one that we created now it is 3 we haven't created any user profiles for the db so we can just use the root user and we haven't set up any password so empty password just your connection and it's successful so you can save your connection and now uh, you can click on this icon for new sql query and you can pretty much run any queries from your vs code and you can run it on the active connection and you will be getting the results on your right hand side uh, yeah, let's say you're working on any file or something you can just create a new file and select uh, instead of plain text you can select sql from the options and you can run your queries straight from here run on active connection and here you go yep this is pretty much it you can also see your database structures like you can see view the tables and the structures everything from vs code itself so i think this might come in handy for you so that's it